Richards, a 89 to 65 win tonight against Francis Mary on Alumni Weekend. Just your opening thoughts. No, I, I thought we. I thought that was one of our more complete games. I thought we came out focused. I thought we, for the most part, stuck to what we were trying to do game plan wise. I thought we were pretty unselfish with the basketball, and, and Brad set that tone early. You know, when Brad's making those passes that only him and a few other guys can see, it makes us much better offensively. And so I didn't. I didn't feel like at any point, um, except for maybe the very, very end, that we didn't have our teammate in mind whenever we were executing. Whenever we did execute. Um, there's still a lot of stuff we got to clean up, but overall effort, um, I thought I was pretty proud of how we were able to come out against a really, really good Francis Marion team. Uh, again, the rebound margin, you guys just dominated the boards, especially in the second half. Uh, just talk about how you've been able to just dominate Francis Marion. Again, <clears throat> similar to January. No, I mean, we just, I mean, that's just part of who we are. We try to be a really good rebounding team, and we try to be the best rebounding team in the country as much as we can. And I thought tonight, that was a key coming into the game because they are a really talented team and they're, they've are they got some really tough guys in there. I mean, Beamer had six offensive rebounds. I mean, so we, you got to, as a team effort, you got to collectively be a good rebounding team to be able to come out on top versus Francis. So I was proud to see that collectively as a group, I thought we didn't really have anybody with double digit rebounds. But we had a lot of sevens, a lot of fives, a lot of sixes. And if you want to be the best rebounding team in the country, uh, it's got to be a team effort. It can't be one or two guys. And then the two guys to your left and right, just talk about their performances tonight. I mean, like I said, Brad, I mean, Brad's setting the tone. When Brad comes in with a cool cool head and, and, and gets his teammates involved, I think we're really good. I mean, seven assists, two turnovers, that's the type of player that we recruited here that we thought Brad would transform into. So the more he can consistently do that, um, the more it's going to be better for our team. Um, you know, having a quote-unquote PG1 out there, I mean, that's why we have guys like Brad, like Jawan, like Vontae. We feel like we have multiple true point guards in those systems. And when they kind of buy into that role, we got a chance. So Brad, Brad did a really good job setting the tone, um, especially mentally, staying locked into the game. I thought he was a good leader tonight. Um, Amari, I mean, Amari just 14 minutes and 13 and 7. I mean, he was just a monster in there, and we hope that Amari can collectively utilize this as a way to consistently do it, um, you know, in the next whatever remainder games. We have three games we have left. Uh, Amari, he had a really dominant game the first time against Francis Mary, and again, a really strong game tonight. Just what do you, what do you see out there when you play Francis Mary? I don't know. I see you red. Uh, it felt great to come off the bench and provide good minutes for my team on both sides of the ball. Uh, you were just all over on the boards. Were they just, you know, was it just something that you had just remembered from the last game where you were just going to have easy access to rebounds? Or? I take pride in my rebound. That's, that's my role, so that's what I do. I'm good at. Yeah, sort of, you know, shook off the slow start. Started firing on all cylinders, you know. Please, what did you see? Did you change anything different compared to this game than at their place? I mean, we had some of our key points that we took from their place. When we figured they'd come in here, um, you know, with extra fire because of because of how the game went down at their place. So we kind of had, had been preaching about, um, you know, starting the game really well because of the way Francis plays. If you get behind, you're in trouble because it's a track meet. Um, they get out and transition as well as anybody um, in the country. So we really wanted to have a good start. Um, you know, it was kind of slow, and then we were able to push the lead out, and that helps. Um, you know, like I said, defensively, I thought for the most part. Um, you know, we were pretty locked in. I mean, they're tough. They got a lot of really talented players, a lot of really talented guys. Um, they run a system that's hard to really scout for because it's it's there's not it's not it's not consistent. It's a lot of um, game by game stuff. So, like I said, I, I was proud of our guys being able to take what we were the, the the template we used at their place, but then trying to add some more energy, some more um, um, cutting down on turnovers, and and trying to execute offensively a little bit better. And then Brad, seventeen points tonight. What was sort of just working out there on the floor for you? Uh, well, why not? I know if I got inside the paint, made a couple shot fakes, get my teammates open, then I'd just do my game to get me going. Once they have, they can't help off of me, they can't help off of them. So, you know, somebody has to score. Uh, this is a really quick 48 hours from Thursday to tonight. Can you just talk about, man, how this, how the team was able to turn around quickly and come out from an 18-point uh, comeback Thursday and then just straight up 24-point win tonight? Yeah, I mean, I told him in the locker room, part of the reason we played such a tough schedule earlier this year was to prepare us for, you know, the rigors of conference play. Um, so, you know, us play, going to Lincoln Memorial and then a day off and then going to Aiken, um, that's part of the reason we did it is because we knew we had two of the best teams in the league, Martin and, and uh, Francis Mary, in a, in a similar situation. So, you know, being able to try to, you know, I'm trying to do a better job for these guys, trying to have more mental approaches to practice. And, and I think, uh, you know, 
results like today make me think that what we're trying to do is, is heading in the right direction. So the more we can consistently produce when we step on the court, whether it's practice or games, I feel like we'll, we'd be better in the long run. And you know, our goal is to try to peak towards the right time of the year. Um, and so I'm hoping this is a step in that direction. We don't get complacent and with three games left in conference play. I hope we just continue to, to, to keep getting better and better. Back to back, back to back road games this week. Mount Olive and uh, Converse. Just expectations. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Mount Olive's a tough place to play. Um, you know, their head coach Zach Grant does a really good job, um, and they'll be playing pretty loose style. So, you know, we've got to be mentally focused walking there in the middle of the week. And then, you know, Converse is probably the best offensive team in the league outside of Francis Marion. So, um, they shoot the ball really well. They have a really good coach in Nick Pasqua. So, we're hoping just um, coming there as focused as we were tonight. If we can continue to do that moving forward. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.